Hey everybody, it is Chandra, or back to me here on YouTube, and um, I don't have anything critical to talk about, but I wanted to say hello, and I have a hole in my shirt. This shirt says Go Gators. This was a shirt that I bought eons ago, back during my love affair uh, with Tim Tebow. But alas, he did not like fat older women. Hmm. Oh well, he missed out. Anyway, um, I just noticed that, so just disregard. See, there's always something weird in every single video, right, that I have, either it's the shine on my glasses, like today, or the hole in my shirt, or I'm itching a boob, or... Anyway, so today is Saturday, January the 10th. Uh, 2015 I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on Tuesday December the 30th 2014 so I am 11 days out right at about 12 days out but we're still in day 11 and I am now down 40 who I didn't write it down this time 42 pounds my um, since my pre-op diet. My pre-op diet started on December 17th, 2014. So that was a two-week diet, not liquids. Uh, liquids the last day, um, which was December the 29th. Um, do I regret my surgery? Not a bit. Not at all. Um, I can honestly tell you guys right now, sitting at almost two weeks um, since my surgery, uh, I have not regretted it one time. And I don't know, you know, some people may have been like, oh, at this point I wish I hadn't. My, I mean, even though, for those of you that weren't watching me at the time, when I had my surgery, um, I had uh, breathing issues afterward. So I had to stay in the hospital an extra night um, but I mean, it wasn't like, oh, I'm not breathing, right? It was just kind of like they stuck the thing in my nose and let my breathing kind of taper out on its own. And I was out. It wasn't a big deal. Um, I've never used pain medication since I came home from surgery. I came home on New Year's Day, January 1st. I haven't touched a bottle of pain medicine. Haven't felt any pains. Um... I didn't have any gas, not a bit of gas. I farted like the biggest sailor you could ever find. Um, never had gas. So, you know, I go to my, uh, my two week checkup on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, and I'm gonna ask my doctor, look, did you really operate on me? Or did you just poke holes in my stomach and let me believe I was operated on? Because this is getting silly. Um, I have not had any problems with the liquid diet because I'm on day 11 still. Um, I go through Tuesday with the liquids. Um, haven't had any problems. My stomach uh, over the last, I don't know, two days or so has been giving me some hunger gurgles, I think, every once in a while. I don't know if it's hunger gurgles or some other kind of gurgles, but it's been gurgling. Um, so there's that, but I mean, I was at the grocery store day four. Um, I was at the mall day six, post-op. And I've been walking like a beast with my Fitbit um, all over the place. I mean, I just, I've, I was blessed um, that I just haven't had any issues so far, knock on wood. Um, so anyway, there's that. Um, I wanted to tell you guys something. So, you know, I told you, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I've been wanting to try different stuff and I've been getting the hunger pangs just a little bit, like just barely enough to notice, but I wanted to try something different. Well, down the street from my house here in Austin, there is a shop called Juice Land. And I don't know if it's nationwide or if it's just local, but they serve drinks and smoothies that are all healthy with protein and all sorts of stuff in it. So I went there last night and I said, hey, listen, uh, this is my first time here and I wanna try something. Here's what I need. 
low carb, high protein, not a lot of sugars, not a lot of fats. Figure it out. And it needs to be blended really well because I'm on a liquid diet. Well, first they tried to sell me this whole spiel about cleansing and blah, blah, and I was like, no, I'm not cleansing. <laughs> but, because I'm three, do, three days away from purees, bitches, and I'm going to eat. <laughs> anyway, I made myself laugh. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, anyway, so uh, they gave me this smoothie call, or was it a smoothie? Yeah, it was a smoothie called Vegetable Kingdom. And it had... Um, apple juice, pineapple juice, um, kale, celery, carrots, spinach, spirulina, lemon, and 40, well, it was two scoops, but he said each scoop equaled 20 grams of protein. Protein. He put, so yesterday's, he put hemp protein in it, and the, the flavor was good, but the, I guess it was hemp seeds. We're like getting all in my mouth and blah, blah, stuck in my teeth. So today I had the same thing, but I had him switch it out to whey protein. That was way better. Get it? Whey, whey. Um, but it was way better. So I had that for lunch today. And I had, um, I think the 40 grams was the medium. Yeah, it was. Because tonight I went back and I had a different... Um, one and it was called the Ninja Bachelor. Look, I didn't make the names. I just bought the damn thing. <laughs> and anyway, that was uh, a lot more carrot. But now on both of these, you can't even taste the the um, vegetable. It's all fruit. Like the Vegetable Kingdom, it tasted like um, an apple drink, like apple juice on ice. And so anyway, the Ninja Bachelor had 20 grams. So. I hit 60 grams of protein each day. I'm just really worried. You know, I haven't had that much protein. I haven't been focusing on it up till now because my nutritionist said, don't worry right now in the very beginning about anything except staying hydrated. And so that's what I did. So now that it was hit a week, I'm like, okay, I should probably start getting in my protein, right? So I did. 60 grams. I mean, meh. It's better than nothing. I'll have something, you know, later tonight, a soup or sorry I'm my stomach's hurting um, something tonight to kind of bump up the, the protein so anyway there's that it's called juice land juiceland.com so I'd share it with you um, anyway so I am down I think an additional two pounds maybe from yesterday I haven't checked I actually went out yesterday pre oppers if you're listening, get yourself a scale. I went and got, there's several that you can get, some of which are like $100 plus. However, I went to Walmart and bought the Weight Watchers body analysis scale. And it's a glass scale and it does your whole, you know, bone density, blah, blah, blah on the scale. Um, it was 40 bucks, like 39 bucks. So far, it's been pretty accurate. I went and got another one because the piece of shit that I had before it was like 20 bucks I would be like go and weigh myself at 9 a.m. and then at like 11 a.m. I'd go in there and pop on it and I'd be like 10 pounds heavier I'm like I don't like this now I would like it if it said I was 10 pounds lighter but it didn't do that so long story short it wasn't stable um, anyway I hope you guys are having a great weekend I am like I said in Austin right now it is 27 degrees and sleeting outside can you believe it? So I have locked myself away today like a little snow bunny. And I'm not going anywhere. It's warm. My puppy's warm. My kids are warm. My husband's warm. We're calling it a day. So anyway, I want to say congratulations real quick to Melissa Collins and to Miss Courtney Simpkins because you two are on the loser's bench with us. It's done, girls. It's done. Now, all you gotta do is lose weight. Anyway, um, congratulations, guys, and I'm really proud of you, and um, you made the big jump like I did. It's a, you know, it's a really scary thing doing this surgery. Um, you're putting a lot on the line, um, and 
I mean, it's a major surgery. So to actually get in there and have the, you know, the fortitude to become, have, you know, one of those surgeries that aren't, I mean, it's not like you have to have it, but you know, you know, you kind of need it. It's a big deal. So congratulations guys. And to all of you that have had surgery, um, I feel your pain. For those of you that are about to have surgery, get ready. <laughs> get ready for good things. So I'll talk to you later, guys. I love you so much. And follow me if you don't already. Subscribe. Bye.